Hey guys, I'm Philip Guillaume, aka Dirt Rock Phil, maybe. <laughs> I'm 35. Um, I'm a drifter since basically uh, 11 years, 2K9, I think I started with track days and then become like, uh, or started a drift and since then I'm addicted, like so many of us. I did competition drifting in, uh, in Germany and all over Europe uh, with the IDS, the International Drift Series and uh, King of Europe and also some participation in Drift All-Stars back then, mainly in 11 to about 14. And yeah, nowadays I'm involved, uh, still involved, uh, basically having fun, like in the good old days, with her and my buddies. Um, Besides that, I'll, I'm a judge, uh, I started judging maybe four or five years ago in Switzerland in the Swiss Championships and went over to Germany where I'm still active uh, if not Corona is ongoing so yeah doing judging there and in France as well and also doing some uh, coachings for my way drift school in Hungary which is a brilliant way of uh, getting a view on this hobby from another perspective again Drifting is such an exciting thing because it's not just hanging around having a good time with your friends. When it comes to just driving, you, you have to focus, you have to let loose of everything else. So that's a very cool feeling, a very good balance I think, for me at least. Yeah, definitely some memorable, uh, memorable drifting experiences from like Chidiam All-Stars in Anodura where I got third spot on the podium beside uh, James Dean, which obviously took first. Uh, some trips to Romania, Bucharest city center, also taking part in a, in a drift, uh, drift All-Stars uh, GP. It was Bucharest GP or something like that. Which Uh, it's definitely the competition, as I call her, behind me. It's an S13, uh, one UZ swapped. Yeah, definitely the most fun car I, I, I drove because we had so many track days, so many trains. Actually, a, a car a friend of mine uh, came to the track with, a BMW E36. We just smashed our engine on the first lap out. So we jumped into his car. Uh, first modification on a drift car into your differential if it's not already like a limited slip or has any modification which is like I would say suspension. Oh who is my favorite drifter? That's a common question in the last few years I think. <laughs> it's like James Dean, uh, Frederick Asbo, uh, Chelsea Denofa, Luke Fink, Naoki Nakamura. These guys are like they're like awesome drivers, all of them. And I had the honor when I got to Japan in 16, I think. I met Chelsea there on track. So yeah, we went on it and we had a full set of tires there, which is like 20 or 30 laps together with shredder racing. Uh, there were some cool videos from that. So yeah, that was pretty fun. Definitely fun. Definitely fun. No question for me. I had my fair share of uh, competition, uh, competition driving. I had a hard time. I had a few very good moments, memorable moments. But all in all, the efforts that you need to bring to go to competitive drifting nowadays. And I'm, if I gonna, if, if I go competitive drifting, I usually am one of these guys who want to win, <laughs> or at least for himself wants to win. So uh, yeah, brings its efforts and I don't want to go that road, uh, route again. So yeah, fun drifting with my friends is anyway the most fun you can have. There's no stress, relaxed, fun, door banging, whatever, best. I would say, 
Man, don't overcomplicate yourself. Don't go too aggressive. Don't overbuild your car. Keep it simple. Keep the SR. Look or see that you can drive or get as much seat time as you can. Having a good car is, yeah, okay, good asset, but it's not, good driving is way more important. So keep it simple, having fun.